So the situation is, I really needed to use the bathroom. I couldn't wait till I go home. I go into the bathroom. They don't have any toilet paper because they're a, a big time bidet enjoyer. And the bidet is the only thing in, in, in the room. Okay, I would probably risk it. However, seeing as I have never used a bidet before, I, I, I don't know how that would go. So if that happens, if I realize the situation, I might have just left. I might have just, just, just like, you know, just george costanza's or just right out of the door and just went home like but if i'm already committed to that situation and i and i've only realized that it's fine but i don't know how to use it anu what if i make it worse what if i like i crank it up to 11 and don't even realize that i've put it on like fucking expert mode fucking dante must die on the fucking bidet pressure and i turn it on before i sit down properly and now it's it, it like it hits me but it, it like it, it's like a fucking clip it comes out like you holding your fucking thumb on the fucking faucet when uh, at, at your fucking kitchen sink and it clips me and now i have like shit fucking filled water that sprays all over the fucking wall and it looks like i didn't even get to the toilet in time like i don't know i don't know how they work have you heard of a vn called 428 shibuya scramble i heard good things about it i have heard about it i hear it's a weeb game it's pretty bad oh <sighs> how we doing today chat i'm having a really bad day i hope it doesn't show why are you doing this to yourself for the money? I gotta catch up to Andrew Tate. He has 32 sports cars. I don't even have one sports car. I gotta catch up. I'm behind. Is there even money in Life is Strange? There's money in streaming. What color is your Bugatti, Joe? Am I saying that right? I would probably get a red one. Just a cliche. Thank you for the gifted subs, Atticus. See? There's always money in the, in the Life is Strange stand. Then s s Steam Neon White. No one wants to watch me play Neon White apart from the diehard fans. I'm telling you, if we stream Neon White, we'd have like 1,200 people here tops. Bugattis aren't red. You're thinking of Ferrari. You can. What do you mean? Bugattis aren't red. If I went to Mr. Bugatti and I said I want a I want a red one, I'm pretty sure I could get one. Here we go. Googling Bugatti red. Oh look, red Bugattis. Fucking owned. Owned. Owned hard. Knights of the Owned Republic- Owned? Oh, these are pretty good, actually. Holy shit. <laughs> In kid-related news, Kate found out about Winnie the Pooh today, and she just thinks it's the most hilarious thing ever. He needs medicine. He's a poo? No, he's a poo bear. Poo bear? Heating. Why? Because it's got poo in the name, that's why. Poo is hilarious if you're three. No more batteries. Thank God. Yeah, true. There's a special place in hell for people who make children's toys that when you turn them off, they have like a little goodbye jingle. So like you turn it off and instead of it being, all right, I, I understand the command. The toy has to stop and shut up. Instead it's like, okay, turning off. See you next time. Do -do 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 -do. Like, no, fuck you. I want it off. Are you have an aquarium? Oh okay, hold on, chat. At, at what point does a fish tank become an aquarium, or is or is any fish tank also an aquarium? Is there a size requirement for for a fish tank be, to become an aquarium, or does it need does it need to have fish? Like if you have if you have a fish t if you have a water tank full of just like aquatic plants, is that still an aquarium? I don't know enough about this thing. Why am I getting question marks? I'm just asking. I'm a curious guy. Squares or rectangles kind of thing. I disagree. I don't I don't I don't think squares or rectangles. I understand the classification, but I reject that classification and think that the distinction should stand. I think if you if you ever showed anyone a square and said, have a look at this rectangle, they have every right to think that you're an absolute lunatic absolute lunacy look at this rectangle and you know i'm right honestly base but i don't i don't oh like that but look who's awake and i don't Is say that lightly or animals human oh we're we gonna have the animals debate again there's an animal outside oh yeah I open the door oh it's your brother <laughs> no telling someone look at the tiny human is lunacy but they're still human what Ooh. What does that mean? <laughs> you tell, look at the baby, not look at the tiny human. 
I think you could say, look at the tiny human for fun. That, that's that's something you could say. Well, I don't I don't understand this this what you're saying. I have no fucking clue where this is going. I'm a little scared. <laughs> No fucking idea how this relates to like squares and rectangles. I have never heard anyone in my whole entire life pick up a square and say, Look at this rectangle. But I have heard people say, Look at the little human. Like, oh, look at the little, like, look at the little, like, of course. Like, what is a thumb a finger? No, it's an appendage. A digit is, oh, a digit. Sorry, not, not an appendage. Enough? Everything's okay. Does it's appendage great. work too? Is a fracture a break? Now it's a stream. Now it's a stream. I still stand by the fact that a hair... Okay, a, a big enough fracture can definitely be a break, alright? That was never my argument. My argument was that a, 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 a small enough hairline fracture does not constitute a break of a bone. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. No fucking way. It's just no. No, all fractured right? No, incorrect. No, no. Okay, need I remind you, need I remind you that chat was so pedantic about this that they said that even a tiny little sliver of something missing out of a cup or something would would mean that the cup is broken. So you're telling me that every single time I wash my cup, a couple of the molecules of the ceramic get fucking scraped off onto the sponge. Now my cup is fucking broken? No. There has to be a, a large enough breakage of the thing in order for the thing to have been broken, all right? And I don't think a hairline fracture is enough to constitute a break. Now, if there was a, like, now, in, in my mind, and I could be wrong, because I'm not a doctor, surprisingly, if a hair, I don't know if, if the length of a fracture is, is a part of the hairline fracture. Can you have a hairline fracture? I think it's the width, right? Can a hairline fracture be like, I don't know, like, 10 inches long along the bone is that is that something that can happen if that was the case i would concede that a long enough hairline fracture could be considered a break all right but a very very small like we're, we're talking like like fractions of an inch of a, of a hairline fracture i do not think constitutes a break of the bone i think a who asked emote would be great for this channel you're a mod you're a mod Never has broken uh, the subreddit. Never broken a bone has the answer. Oh, do they? Reddit has the answer. Okay, redditor. All right. Yeah. L let's let's go by what Reddit says when it comes to this shit. All right. Not broken. Not the fracture. Your bones. Your rules. Teeth don't count. What is this horse shit? If you break your penis when it's erect, does that count? I have some big. News for you, Chatter. <laughs> I hope you're sitting down for this one. <laughs> There's no bone in your dick, my dude. <laughs> oh. Huh? Penile fracture is actually a thing even if there is no bone. Is is a is a penile fracture then counts as breaking a bone. In that case fracture is not a broken bone, right? Just a broken boner. I have heard of uh, of a penile fracture by the way and and they sound excruciating. Apparently um I'm going to I I'm about to name a sexual pos sexual position, all right? So if you do not want to hear a sexual position being named on the stream, this is your chance to uh, to uh, to mute the chat. Okay? Apparently, the sexual position, reverse cowgirl, is is extremely dangerous, and is usually only uh, uh, included in uh, gentlemen's movies. Um, for this reason, it is it is an unrealistic expectation to uh, to have. Um, and if you've ever if you ever watched one of those those uh, those films before and you have noticed that as as the uh, the act is being performed that the gentleman is like you know um supporting the bridge so to speak you know like uh holding up the dam you know like uh helping the beaver get the wood you know what i mean 
like uh because there is if, if that doesn't happen there is like a huge like like bend like almost like uh the difference between a corner of a square and a rectangle um th that is why and that's when it can actually just snap and it can be really really bad yeah um so why would you say that because i'm i'm being unexplicit i'm being implicit instead of explicit all right so if if you um if if any of the weebs among you uh ever ever graduate to non-weebs and you know with your milady you ever want to partake um no 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 anything but that <laughs> <laughs> flash, flash forward <laughs> about to get it on she, she, she sultry suggests something starts getting on top and he's like no <laughs> also remember after you're done to run to the bathroom and pee you have to remember that it's the, it's the only way to uh, prevent a, uh, a, a UTI you gotta pee right away Joe are you speaking from experience and Absolutely not. I just know from from like sex education and and partaking of the Reddit. Uh, th my middle name has never had a UTI. Joseph never had a UTI. <laughs> <laughs> Joe sex tips. Oh man. Karen's room. Then it could be a stream. If only R two doesn't work, is the controller broken? Yes, absolutely, because that is a a core part of the functionality of of the. Uh, of the controller. If you have a fracture that is preventing you from being able to use whatever part of your body that the fracture is on, I would be very much convinced that that constitutes a break. But if you have a hairline fracture and you don't even you don't even know about it and you can just go about your day, you know, a tiny little fracture, then I don't think that counts as a break. So Thank you so much for giving me all these distractions okay? by the way, chat. The game sucks. <laughs> What's your favorite type of gentleman movies? Um the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen was, was, wasn't was bad, you know, kind of cheesy, but it was pretty good. Joe, are you gentle? Not at all. F frantically thinking of a punchline to follow that up, and I'm coming up short. <laughs> Do you have any fun anecdote about buying a gentleman movie in the gentleman movie store? How old do you think I am? All right. I'm, I'm 37, not 57. 37 that you must have been born in the in the 1970s so what 1970s yeah you, you, am i being trolled or is this zoomer math like what draw b i i already did that this stream chatter you missed it this place is actually kind of nice hold on i'll draw him again wonder what it's like in the summer There you go. I drew Bikoi. Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you dropped a shit at your friend's house? What do you mean? You don't drop you don't drop a shit at your friend's house. You you hold it in for 36 hours like a normal person. What the hell is this? You, you tell him you're bored and have to go home, but the real reason you have to go home is because you just really need to take a shit. Like no one shits at their friend's house. What the hell? Okay, squad. Let's roll. Joey, don't say this. I, w I wouldn't even drop a shit at, at like, my in-law's house if that was still the possible visit thing, you know, from, from Moncton. Like, honest to God, if, uh, if I need the poop and I was at my in-law's house, I w unless it's an emergency, I'm waiting till I get home. Why, why would I just, why would I do that to myself and everybody? What, what do you, like, what? <laughs> I refuse to shit on any public toilet. Yeah, exactly. Unless, unless it's like, all right, like, I, I really, really, really desperately need to go. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna get home. You know, like, like, what the hell? Are your shit that bad? No, it's got nothing to do with that. It, it just, I, I don't feel safe. <laughs> I want to be home. <laughs> I don't.
don't know. There's okay. I I'm not gonna lie. There there is a possibility. You don't know the strength of the bomb until it's been detonated. All right. Like there's there's also that. Like like who knows, right? What if the toilet backs up? Like and it's like oh no, now it's the scene from like Dumb and Dumber or whatever. Like what if there's no toilet paper? What if it's only one ply? Like you don't know. Like. Just un unless you have no other option, you wait till you get home to poop. Courtesy, I am I am a, a staunch supporter of the courtesy flush. Yes, yes. However, if if the host currently has their ear pressed up against the the, the bathroom door, as hosts are wont to do, to listen to you, like as you're going to the bathroom, they might hear the courtesy flush, and then they might hear another flush after that, and be like, okay, something fucky's going up, going on in there, right? As they do, yeah, yeah. That's why when when you're at when you're at a, someone else's house and uh, and and you're peeing standing up, like you pee, you don't pee into the water, you pee to the side. You you always do a stealth pee when you're when you're at someone else's house. You never pee directly into the water bowl. You always pee to the to the side, so it's like it's 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 a quiet pee. Whenever you're at someone else's house, when you're at home, let it roar. People in chat know what I'm talking about, yeah. You need plausible deniability that you went to the bathroom just to wash your hands or something, that you didn't you didn't actually like use the facilities. I just wanted to see what your toilet sounded like when it flushed or whatever, you know, like you pee in the water to impress your girl, obviously. Yeah, yeah, when when you're like yeah, in that situation for sure. But you know, you're in uh, any other situation, your host and or in-laws don't need to know what you're packing, okay? Joe, are homeless people allowed to poop? Honestly, no. It's just, look, there are rules when you go to someone else's house. If you go to someone else's house and they offer you food, if they are not also eating or like like gonna have a snack with you, you say no. You can accept a drink. Drink is fine. But like, like the highest you can go is coffee. But like, if they are currently already eating and they are like offering to get you some food and interrupt their meal, then you say, no, I just ate. All right, and you just make it. You make it fine. How is this psychopath? How is this psycho shit? There are so many unwritten rules whenever you go to someone's house about being a good guest, just like there are so many unwritten rules about being a good host. If it, okay, if it's a snack or it's just like, hey, I'm gonna be able to like just put some chips in a bowl. Here you go. Even though I don't really like chips all that much. All right, that takes like five seconds. That's fine. But it's like, hey, want me to make you a pizza or something? Like, like no, you like if they're not eating, no, no, thank you. I don't need to eat. I'll eat when I get home. Where did you hear about these? Like you just you just collect them, growing up. What's your opinion on guests pay their own meal if you order out? Oh, that that's insane. All right, no, no, no. Like if you if you have a guest over and you're ordering in, then you you for sure have to include them. However, it is the responsibility for as the host to provide information about what you are getting, and then as the guest, you have to ask for something that is you know, like it cannot be more than than what the the host is getting. And ideally, you're just getting like a piece of chicken from the bucket or like a slice of pizza. But if it's like a whole ass meal, like they're ordering McDonald's or whatever, then you need to be like ideally within like 10, 20% lower than what the host is getting. Like you can't like, oh, get whatever you want. Oh, okay, I'll have five McDoubles please. Plus like a side of 10 piece nuggets, you know, and a milkshake, like no. Like you have to make sure that you are below what the host is getting for themselves. You know, you have to always have to have to judge. This is insane. I'm not surprised that you think so, Sony bro. But like, there are a lot of like rules when it comes to social interactions. Same goes if you're at a restaurant. If you go out to the restaurant and the, the other person is treating you, they order first, and you have to like judge what they are ordering, and you go a little bit below what they are, right? And if you're if you're treating someone to something, and like, and you have to order before they do because you need to provide that information. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? So you go over to a restaurant and you, and they're like, oh yes, please, I'll have a Caesar salad, and it's like it's like fifteen dollars, and you're like, yeah, I'll have the fucking surf and turf forty five dollar fucking T bone with a lobster tail, fucking roasted potatoes with with a with a fucking Sunday afterward. Like you're you're an asshole, YTA, YTA. Like what the hell? You're gonna have a Reddit post written about you. You always have to like judge what the other per like what what you're buying off the other person from the host. You have to. 
or else you're insane. If, you, if you've done this to someone, they're annoyed at you. They, they shit talk you to their spouse. Just like, oh, and now we're on to spouses. If you ever tell something to someone, they are going to tell their spouse. Like if you know someone and they're in a relationship with a spouse, if you tell anyone anything, their spouse knows too. Like whenever you tell a married person something, you are telling two people. So if you're not, if you're not, you know, fine with two people knowing something, then don't tell the married person. <laughs> So if you rip someone off when they were treating you to like like a quick a quick burger stint and you fucking got like a bucket of fried chicken that cost twenty five dollars because you decided that you're gonna use this treat to to give yourself lunch and dinner and maybe breakfast for the next day like they went home and shit talked you to their you to their wife or husband this is Larry David's here of nitpicking custom this this is not okay like I'm being dead serious no memes no irony this is this is not nitpicking customs. Or are you talking about chat nit nit nitpicking me? Like, this is, like, real, real, basic-ass social interaction. Like, I'm not kidding. This is, like, like, m like really, I almost said mid again. This is, like, normal-ass shit, man. Okay, maybe not taking a poop at your friend's house. <laughs> like, if you want to go, all right, you go. <laughs> I guess. All right, maybe I'm a little weird for that one, but, like... <laughs> When it comes to, like, food and shit, like... <laughs> my friends can use my toilet whenever they want. Look, 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 it's not, it's not up to you, though. It's not up to you. Because, let's, let's say this is another social convention that, that you're gonna break. Your friend comes to your house, and it's like, hey, you give them a little bit of a tour. Here, here's the kitchen, here's, here's the hallway, and they're like, yeah, I know. And then you'd be like, and then you turn to them and be like, by the way, if while you're here, you need to take, you need to take a shit feel free now your friend is going to look at you and be like all right so this guy has a weird i like when people when other people take a shit in my toilet fetish no way i'm pooping here and now you've sabotaged the courtesy that you wanted to extend so like you, you can't just tell people welcome to my bathroom you're welcome to take a shit here you know you, you can't bring it up all right it's so it's just up to the guest if they are like willing to to use the toilet while they're there so it's just like you just have to hope that that you are giving off a, a welcoming vibe that you would be fine with it it's implied that they could be exactly exactly you don't you don't need to exply it all right i would say that the 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 more comfortable the, the uh the <laughs> The better quality toilet paper you have, the better chance you have of making your friend feel welcome. You also need to have a pl the plunger has to be in view. So if you keep your plunger like in a little like side area or under like if you have a cabinet under the sink, and like you you keep that for you. If you have a friend over, you have to take the plunger out and have it like here. Here's where the plunger is in case you need it. And also you slide some some extra rolls of toilet paper on on like the handle of the plunger so you just know everything that's yeah it is true that is true of course it is also you should have a little garbage can in your bathroom absolutely your thoughts on a bidet i've never used one yeah, but i would if cool. i if i had one or if one Don't was available I... well i'm not going to use a friend's bidet all right we all agree on that right if you're at a friend's house and you had, you know, an emergency situation, it was like a category five, you know, hurricane and you're like, all right, I, I can't wait till I get home. Right. And and then you're like, all right, I'm going and they have a bidet. You're not going to be like, you know what? I'm feeling fancy. I'm going to treat myself. Here I go. Like, you're not. We all agree on that. Right. We're not going to like, OK, if you're an experienced seasoned bidet user. Why, what we mean, why not? If you're, if you like, you know, if you, if you're at rank 10 confidant with, with bidets, maybe you can pull it off. All right. But Lord of the bidet, <laughs> like, like maybe, I don't know, but if not, all right, are bidets completely supplemental? Like if you, if you went over to your friend's house and they were like, like one of the biggest bidet enjoyers of all time, would they even have toilet paper in, in the bathroom? Is it like a complete replacement? So is it there a chance when you go in that you might like, you might not have a choice? No, you still need to dry still, do you? Okay, I've never, I've never used a, I've never used a bidet. 
I've never used a bidet. I don't I don't know I don't know how that goes. It sounds like a good time. I'm I'm curious. I'm 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 bidet curious. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> this game's so boring, man. <laughs> I once went to my cousin's house, and my my cousin's parents said to me when I was there, and they said, "Listen, this is a. Uh, I think I was like, I think I was like 12 or 13 or something like that." And they said to me, maybe I was 11. I was around that age, and they said to me, "Listen, listen, uh, this is this is a help yourself house, okay?" I'm like, all right. So that means if you if you want a drink or a snack or something, you just go get it yourself. It's a help yourself house, all right? Don't feel bad. If you want something, you go get it, all right? I didn't eat or drink anything the whole entire weekend. <laughs> just, just, did not consume anything. <laughs> Unless it was like a structured meal <laughs> that we all sat down. Don't not worry. today. You're not gonna I'll get be me. Around. I don't went. Worry. I went home looking I'll like like the close up of SpongeBob SquarePants. I don't need it. Like my <laughs> my mom gave me chapstick when I walked uh, through the door. Nothing. I'll tell you later. But I didn't need so, to poop, so it was fine. So it was good. Would you seriously rather return to a party with shit in your ass crack than use a stranger's bidet? Uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, hold on. So l let's paint a picture here with paint so the situation is i have i have i really needed to use the bathroom i couldn't wait till i go home i go into the bathroom they don't have any toilet paper because they're a, a big time bidet enjoyer and the bidet is the only thing in 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 the room okay i would probably risk it however seeing as i have never used a bidet before like i i don't know how that would go like so if that happens like and i if i if i realize the situation i might have just left I might have just, just, just like, you know, just George Costanza, Costanza's or just right out of the door and just went home. Like, but if I'm already committed to that situation and, I, and I've and i only realized that, it's fine. But I don't know how to use it, Anu. What if I make it worse? What if I, like, I crank it up to 11 and don't even realize that I've put it on, like, fucking expert mode. Fucking Dante must die on the fucking bidet pressure. And I turn it on before I sit down properly. And now it's, it, it like, it hits me. But it, it like, it, it's like a fucking clip. It comes out like you holding your fucking thumb on the fucking faucet when uh, at, at your fucking kitchen sink and it clips me and now I have like shit fucking filled water that sprays all over the fucking wall and it looks like I didn't even get to the toilet in time like I don't know I don't know how they work if they're really gentle and they're like okay even an idiot could use it then all right I'm gonna do it all right I'm gonna do it but like there's there's I've never used one before I don't know how hard it is Maybe it's just going to make everything worse. Damn, Start with a handheld home. bidet and work your way up. Betty loved this. It's okay. I brought my bidet from home. <laughs> you cowgirl the bidet. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Joseph Anderson and bidets scare me more than videos. Where, where's, this, where's this slander come from? They don't scare me. I've just never used one. I, I said I would use it. I would, I would like to try one. I've just never used one before. Maybe I can't figure it out. Chat, I'm the same guy that went, remember, I went to fucking Best Buy after we moved to Moncton, and like, I got an over the range fucking microwave, and the guy was like, this is over the range, you know that, right? And I was like, oh, that just might, must mean it's a really good microwave. And I brought it home, and opened it, and went, oh fuck, this doesn't go on the counter. And, and then it just, it just sat there for like, fucking like two months until we got someone in to install it, alright? Over the range, oh that's a great, that, that, that's a fucking, that just means, yeah, this, this, this bad boy's over the range, such a great fucking microwave. Like, you, you don't, like, I don't know, I, I don't know, like, I might, like, what if I go on and it's like, pointed the wrong direction, I don't realize. But I'm not scared of it. What is this nice? Alright, let's just, okay, I'm on my phone. How to use a bidet tutorial. All right. Oh God, she's squatting over it. What? The, it looks like a little sink. Oh, this is way harder than I thought. What the fuck? I thought, 
I thought it was like, I thought there were like a basin and like the faucet was like, like, like in it. It looks like a little sink. What the fuck is this shit? Can you imagine me like in my friend's bathroom, like with my phone, like, like taking a picture of the bidet so I get the right model for the right tutorial? R wrong one. Yeah, this, this, this is complicated, man. God, this one's, it's as big as the toilet. Why don't they just combine them? Oh, some of them do. Oh, oh, she's really happy about using this bidet. Holy crap. Oh, this one has, in this picture, the bidet is like across on the opposite wall of the toilet. So like, like as someone else is using the toilet, the other person can use the bidet. This is the really big time saver. Tushy Spa installation tutorial. All right. Wow, they're a lot bigger than I thought. All right, here's one. In this one, the, 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 the water comes, like, from the basin inside. That's what I thought it was. The other one was, like, weird. It was, like, it was just, like, a normal-ass sink. Oh, there's another one that's, like, a normal-ass sink. It just looks like a, like, a flattened urinal. Yeah, this is complicated. How is it complicated? It's just a bidet. Oh, oh I'm sorry, bidet enjoyer. Some of us have not partaken. Cool. I feel like fucking Sil Sylvester drops. Stallone not knowing how to use the fucking three clams right now. Imagine never seeing <laughs> nah. a bidet in your life. I genuinely have never seen a bidet. Never, like, in person. You know that's that, that Lord song, I've never seen a diamond in the flesh? I've never seen a, seen a bidet in the porcelain. Like, never. I've seen it in, like, media. And I just saw, like, a thousand of them right now on my phone. But I've I've never seen one in person. I've only seen seen the scene funny? in cars. Yeah. Why, why do the cars need a bidet? What? You've never seen the cars two bidet? I haven't seen cars one or two. I've never seen the cars movies. Really missing out, man? I don't think so. They I peaked with I Incredibles like and Finding Nemo. I'm sure you will, man. Did you see that Ludwig has a bidet company like in Bloodborne? I like the sword. I don't know if is it a trick bidet? Is it got like two settings? Can the faucet be in the basin and on top if you want? Like, you need to go to a special school to learn how to use a bidet. Cool. You get bachelor degree Mission after three years. Would that make me a liberal farts now, major? <laughs> before Claire and Steven come back. There's people in the world that wipe with water cans? What do you mean? Like... Like, it's bidet in a can? Like, you, like, you, like, like, okay, I'm done pooping. Like, all right, here I go. Like, what? Or... What do you mean, yep, Anu? Okay, I'm not. I'm done. I'm done. So far. Back to Life is Strange Next 2. Stop. Joseph, for love of everything, has got to beg you. There's, there's no, it's not like there's a bidet upstairs, Anu, and I've been like, I'm just not going to use it. It's not going to, I would use one if there was one there. Good Fucking bio, there's, there's no room in the bathroom to install a bidet. There's no room. It's just, it just, I'm telling you, there's, there's barely enough room in there to begin with. Installing one into the toilet might be a it thing, looks though. Like you did too. It goes on the wall. You, you, overestimate the size of the bathroom. <laughs> I'm sorry, but to take a shower for, take a bath is just wrong. There is no way you could, you could wait. What? I'm interested. There's no way you could defend this. It's just a waste of water and time. Is it, there's no way it's more efficient. Who's who's caught? Who's talking about efficiency? Hey, I don't partake of the shower bath shower or shower bath myself. I'm just saying some people take a shower to wash off real quick and get all the grime off them down the drain, and then they will run the bath and chill in the bath and then they're nice and clean. Who's saying it's waste? It's it's saving water or more efficient? Like like I'm not saying that at all. It's about the experience of having of having a bath. I personally have never done it. Do 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 you play Battlefield 3 and you should make a Battlefield and you should make a Battlefield 3 critique. Really? You, like you, when you think of who do I want to make a Battlefield 3 critique? You know what I want? I want I want J Andy to do it. That's that's the critiquer that I want to do that. Sounds like just a job for Joseph. Never had a UTI over the range bidet curious Anderson. 